Hi Capricorn, welcome to your October 2023 end of the month read-in. Uh, we're in Scorpio season, so this is uh, the rest of the month. This is your love and general energy, the current person on your mind, any new potential coming your way, and a quick message from Aries through Pisces. The title will be on the screen so you can scroll forward, and the title of the video will be based off the love portion. And so make sure to hit that like and subscribe. It helps my channel grow. And if you'd like a personal reading, that information is down below. So already we have the full moon in Taurus as we are in the Scorpio season. So um, yay. <laughs> all right. But it says the energy is gaining momentum for you. All right. So if things, you know, Capricorn can feeling tough for you or feeling like you've been working really hard trying to push through something. Well, you may now start to see that the energy is like, like something is released and, and things are going to start flowing a lot quicker. So do not fear that full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus. It often brings out um it often brings up things that we, that need to be seen, things about ourselves that need to be seen, but also things that manifest things that we've set our intentions on the new moon. So maybe something manifested for you. Uh, your dreams do need a practical plan. And this is the full moon in Taurus. So that would make sense. Um, you know, the moon wants to manifest things for you and it will start showing you. It will pick up the momentum for you. It'll bring in opportunities for you. But you've got to have a plan and you've got to take the steps towards it. And earthy energies tend to be very practical. Um, they, they pay attention to the details. And you know this, you're an earthy energy but this moon is saying, if you want to get up and get going and get something going and you want things to work in your favor, you also have to put the, you know, get the plan going and, and uh, get to, get out the, uh, I can't even talk right now, get out the pen and paper and start making plans. Bring love into the situation too, as well, if you're dealing with um, situations that are stressing you out. This could be with family, friends, coworkers, um, you know, people that you might be feeling like you're in disagreement with. Bring love into the situation. I was just listening to something with Wayne Dyer about how resentment, you know, what was it? A, the snake bite doesn't kill you. The venom spreads throughout your body and kills you, right? So it's, it's, it's about not blaming anybody anymore and just taking responsibility, even if it's not your fault, right? Because you don't want that resentment and you don't want that blame to eat away at your soul, right? So bringing love into the situation is one of the key things that all um, spiritual leaders and, and people have talked about thousands of years, right? Um, bringing your energy, raising your vibration and not letting situations tear you down. All right, so your hard work is paying off, Capricorn. So do know that you, whatever you've been working on, whatever you've been busting your, your butt doing, um, whether that's spiritual growth, whether that's love relationships, whether that's career, no matter what it is, you've been working really hard and it's paying off for you. You're going to see something manifest for you and things pick up pace for you. So do not lose faith or hope in the process, all right? Trust that the universe has your back. Let's see what else is coming towards my Capricorn's And that's your energy, new moon and Capricorn energy. Um, but it's, you know, your hard work's going to pay off, right? You know, once you get to the top of that mountain, the door's shut. You don't have to go backwards. You don't have to revisit any of those lessons. You don't have to if you don't want to anyways. This week ahead brings happy success. Look at that, the Eight of Pentacles. I'm telling you, we never know what tomorrow is going to bring. Anything's possible. Quantum physics, you choose your thoughts in every moment. Believe in the impossible and know that if you've been in the Seven of Pentacles energy for a while, the Eight of Pentacles is showing up for you, which means that what where you've been investing your time, there may be a return of investment this week. You know, and we're seeing that you're, you're not giving up. You're going to get what you want. Some things may fall off the, the, the plate, things that you've invested your time into, things that didn't work out. Let it go because whatever the bigger picture is, whatever you're working on is working out in your favor. 
major milestone for you this week. So some of you could be hanging out with a Scorpio friend and celebrating their birthday with them, right? Some of you could be meeting a Scorpio. I think my Capricorns are sexy, right? I'll, I'll be there. I'm available for you, right? I'm kidding. I'm throwing, I shouldn't have done that on social media. Um, but we see a major milestone here for you. So it could be an event that's coming in for you this week, uh, feeling very successful. Some of you might be going out to dinner, celebrating some major win, maybe going on a date, celebrating that, uh, celebrating a new home, celebrating um, a raise at work or a promotion, celebrating things like celebrating somebody in your family having a baby, celebrating somebody's birthday, like I said, is a milestone card. So be prepared. Um, you know, and I am seeing that we, you know, this is the end of the October, but this could even be going in the beginning of November, you know, moving that direction. Like this is just picking up momentum. So remember, you're going to see during the full moon that the energy is gaining momentum. So this could be showing you what you're headed towards, too, and that this is all going to, you know, show up and throughout Scorpio season. I see a loving woman around you, all right, very loving woman. So this could be the milestone. This could be a date. This could be somebody who um, there's just people around you. It could be representing the energies around you. You have a very loving, nurturing energy around you who may be showing up for you this week. Um, and it could be just a friend. It could be a relative. Uh, it could be a new romantic love. Um, but this person really is nurturing and caring and uh, is going to influence your life in some way. And I see deserving, all right? So yes, you deserve this amazing moment that's gonna come into your life. You know, sometimes things just do happen to us. Sometimes, you know, you might be thinking, you know, that you've been working hard and things haven't been working out for you. And, and yes, they do and they will, and you are deserving. And so this is all about your consciousness this card. So there may be a little voice inside your head that doesn't believe that you deserve luck in your life or that you deserve some sort of happiness and you deserve, you know, but this is saying you do. And that's a common affirmation that a negative self-talk that people say to themselves that don't realize it. Even some of the people who are or appear to be the most confident, it's like, I am not deserving for whatever reason you may feel or have been told that you don't deserve something because of this or because of that. All right. So, and a consciousness of lack. So that could be what's holding you back is that you truly don't believe you deserve something. And um, the answer is, yes, you do. You have the number, uh, you have three sixes showing up you. I just noticed this, six, six, six. I know some people are like, oh, I don't like that number. But it's the numbers of love, a balance and love. All right. Um, so I would look up those numbers. Three, six, nine are very popular, um, very important numbers with Tesla. And uh, six to me is love, is bringing balance. You got the six of cups, you got the six of pentacles, you got the six of swords, and you've got the six of wands. All about good news, balance, um, feeling successful, uh, moving on to calmer waters, um, you know, new beginnings in love, friendship, and um, the universe bringing you in whatever support that you need is the six of pentacles. So looking like a pretty good end of October for you moving into November. And I will have the November reads up soon so that you can look at the entire month. You have a lot of options here with the seven of cups here. So, um, you know, look at this. you got the hanged man. So some of you really do have some choices to make. What's holding you back? What's holding you? What's hold, what, what's what do you need to release? What do you need to let go of? If something's not working out, let it go and see where it goes. Don't create a tantrum when something's trying to leave your life or if you, or if a situation is leaving your life. The more of a tantrum, the, the reaction that we create when we're when we're separating or surrendering or letting go of something is what causes more pain. It's like that snake bite is the initial snake bite, but you can the snake bite is just the snake bite. So you could heal that. But it's the venom and the poison and everything else afterwards that really creates the damage. And the same thing happens is when you sever ties or you release something or somebody lets go of you or there's a pause or you're in limbo. If you just let it go and create no drama, no reaction, all right, there's more of a chance that it's going to heal quicker. 
or things you may see that when one door closes, another door opens. So sacrifice can show that you may have to make choices this week when it regards your time, your feelings, um, where you put in your end, like your time and energy, who you're talking to, who you're hanging out with, things like that. You may have to sacrifice um, some things and focus on what it is you're trying to bring into your life. But remember, whatever you sacrifice now is for the bigger picture later. You have the chariot card. So there could be some travel or some movement here or moving on, you know, from something or someone. But I do see triumph. So your determination, you're winning this battle. So if, even if it doesn't seem like you are winning a battle with somebody or a situation, you are. And that's why it's saying bring love into the situation. Because sometimes if we're just struggling with somebody that we really love, can we just... Can, can we just let go just for that, for the sake, you know, that somebody might just not be ready to work through something or might, might just be having a hard time. All right. And there's that six of wands. So prepare, you have six, you have four sixes here. Prepare for a really well-rounded end of October that, um, you know, could surprise you with how it turns out. You may think that it's not going to work out in your favor, but, you know, you can't keep thinking like that. It is going to, you're about to get something that you really do deserve and allow yourself to enjoy it. Um, six of wands can be, you know, a raise, appraisal at work, um, pray, you know, being admired by others, some sort of victory over a situation, especially with the, the chariot card as well. So let's see the current person on your mind, the current person on your mind. Six of Pentacles, you got another six. So this talks about a balance. Somebody who feels the same way about you as you do them, they really want to support this connection. They really are very genuine and kind and want to give to this. So you might be receiving some sort of offer from maybe an Earth energy this week, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's a really good frenzy energy, right? Really good, you know, we both have mutual respect for one another. Um, this person may give you a gift this week, um, an offer just to hang out. Who knows? Huh. And then I got the devil at the bottom of the deck, right? There you are. Right? So hopefully it's not a friends with benefits, right? If they're not given to you, and I'm going to leave it there. If they're not given to you, you know, you're setting the tone when you're friends with benefits with somebody. Um, you're setting the tone right out the gate, and there's no way around that. There's no, I'm going to be the best sex ever and make them fall in love with me. It, it's not going to work. Um, so let's just move past that thought. Six of Pentacles, you could be obsessing over somebody. You could... Um, you definitely could be worried or some fears coming up around a situation that you're currently dealing with. And I do see the Ten of Swords. You may feel like something's over or something needs to end. You might even be thinking about, um, you know, that maybe you think something has ended with somebody. But the Six of Pentacles is showing somebody who might be coming back around to bring balance to the situation. So um, maybe bringing love into the situation. Here's that milestone. You got the Four of Wands here. So we do see um, if you're having, a, you know, if there's some sort of disagreement or argument. And guys, I cannot tell you enough times and i apologize to the people that understand this but i cannot choose who your mind is on and these readings are the current person on your mind so if it sounds like a past person to you that's not my fault a past person could be for somebody else they were just dealing with this person two days ago and they were in a relationship with them and they just recently had a breakup it could be something like that it's not always you know what you think it is and I can't respond to those comments all the time because I don't know how to, you know, without, you know, it's just here it is. So this is a situation where, you know, maybe something you thought something was over 
and it's not. We have the four of wands here. We see a reunion. We see get you know, and we saw can we bring love into the situation? Maybe somebody was dealing with something that um, was hard for for them to deal with at the time, and you know maybe they're kicking themselves in the butt now about how they they dealt with it. And we see that they really care about you, and they have. Um, a lot of respect for you. So maybe you've been worried about this situation and you've been feeling, you know, bad about something or feeling like it was something was your fault and you've been obsessing about it. But it does feel like it wasn't. This person may have been projecting something onto you. I've got the Princess of Cups here. So you've got an, you know, a, a, those are my, those are my very lovey messages. You know, I'm coming through with a, hey, you know, I've got a crush on you and, you know, very still want to get to know you. Pages want to get to know you. They really, they really do. Um, you know, so maybe some love messages this week from this person. Remember bringing love into the situation, trying to understand. Uh, maybe you are angry, uh, very pissed off, resentful, but you know, and remember, if if it is a toxic situation, that's that I don't want to tap into that energy here because that's not what it feels like here. All right. I see the five of pentacles. They could have been really struggling. Um, maybe you were struggling. Maybe you feel rejected. Maybe you feel left out by this person. Um, I feel like this person here was dealing with something um, in their own world or they were very insecure about themselves or about this situation. And maybe they didn't want you to know. They could have been dealing with their job, dealing with finances, dealing with something like that. All right. The hanged man, that could be why they pulled back or if they pulled away. Um, but the, the hanged man says, you know, same thing you have up here, the sacrifice card. All right. And remember, you had the choices. So again, for a lot of you, it's going to be choose wisely. There's always a devil in the seven of cups energy. For some of you, if you feel like this is somebody who's been playing games, cut them out of your life. For some of you, it could be something's changing and somebody had to take a step back. Something was changing in their life. And now things are moving forward. So whatever happened now is changing and there's a new perspective. You know, if you can look at things from a new perspective, maybe we can move forward with that four of wands. So there's potential for messages with your person this week. It's going to be the seven of cups and it's going to be your choice on whether or not this is your person and if you guys should move forward. But let me see their feelings for you. Could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Finances are a problem. All right, but I find you incredibly attractive. Can we start over? All right, and maybe there was someone or something interfering in the relationship. Okay, I've got you are the person of my dreams, so they're very attracted to you, um, and that may not be for everybody. All right, let's see new person potential for Capricorn. new person potential so this is somebody that you might be trying to get off the ground you may be going back and forth texting um might be somebody that's coming in new for you so Woo. Woo. getting somebody's attention the six of wands the moon card all right, so you might not even know this person yet. It could be somebody who you don't see coming. Um, it could be somebody you're trying to manifest in. It could be somebody that you're very highly attracted to, somebody that you admire. Uh, the moon card says circumstances are constantly changing. So, yes, you deserve this if this is a new person. Six of Wands says good news, somebody who gets a lot of attention, somebody who's very proud, somebody who's very well off. You know, they're successful. Um, bringing in good news, all right? So, um, and ready to put the work in too here, right? The moon card says this could be manifesting and you don't see this person just yet. Um, you might, 
you know, it's one of those things, the moon card, remember bring, you know, it was talking about uh, energies gaining momentum and your hard work is paying off. And maybe some of you, your fears or anxieties about is love going to come in? Is somebody going to come in? And we see you get in somebody's attention. And there's that eight of wands energy, which is talking about a lot of passion, a lot of communication coming in. So you may be talking to quite a few people, but I feel like you might be getting the attention of a lot of people with the six of wands and the eight of wands. So be prepared to have a lot of communication um, with, you know, a new potential coming your way. It could be several new potentials. But if this is somebody specific, a cancer or a Pisces or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag that you've been connecting to, seems like things are really going to gain momentum here with you and this person. And and the future is still unwritten, though, with that moon card. Like, anything's possible. Don't let your fears and anxieties, you know, get in the way. But it does look like this could have a lot of potential for the future. I've got the seven of wands showing up. So this person uh, speaking up and taking action to it, towards you. All right. The seven of wands and the six of wands can show somebody who knows what they want. They're determined. They're going to speak up. They're going to say something. So somebody really speaking up and, and saying something to you. Seven of Wands can also be for you. Don't let your insecurities get in the way and ground yourself and, you know, definitely defend yourself away from these negative energies is how I see the Seven of Wands. But also, um, you know, don't put your walls up. Don't block this from coming in, too. It seems like somebody really wants your attention. you got a lot of fire energy. You've got the Six, Seven, and Eight here of wands which means somebody sees you somebody's coming to say something somebody wants to go ahead with you somebody wants to move ahead with you all right so the momentum is definitely going to pick up pace between you and another person and um, we got the two of cups here too so we are seeing a relationship deepening so you remember a lot of you could be dealing with a lot of new potentials especially if you're casually dating and if you're out there, but we do see if some of you are just new or you're just trying to date or if you're getting to know somebody, things picking up, communication really picking up around this time. Um, you did have the seven of cups, which says you have a lot of options, but always make sure to um, know that there could be some choices in there that aren't compatible. What else can you tell me about this connection? All right. So I do feel like love, li love line revived. I feel like somebody's coming into your life and you're going to be like, wow, love really does still exist. Or you're going to, it's going to get the blood flowing through you again with all this passion because you have all this wands and you have the two of cups. So it's almost like your heart's beating again, right? Maybe some of you Capricorns thought you were, you know, the walking dead. Well, it looks like that might change for you. Anything else you can um, tell me about this connection or these connections this week for a new person, new potential? Long term. Long term potential here with you and another person. And we've got partnership. You're melting somebody's heart away, Capricorn. So you are melting the ice off somebody's heart. All right, secure love nest. So again, somebody might, maybe this person coming towards you may be thinking that they never thought they would find love again, and then they find Capricorn. So good luck. Scorpio season is going to treat you well. I will do my best to make sure that I set that intention for you guys. And um, let's do Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Aries, there is a third party. Remember, this may not resonate with everybody, so only take what does. Taurus, finances are a problem. Gemini, I'm so sorry. Cancer is reminiscent about you. Leo, I feel empty without you. Virgo, you make me want to be a better person. Libra, please forgive me. Scorpio, I dive in and out of relationships. Sagittarius, I don't know what I want. Capricorn, there's secrets and deception. What are you being secretive about? All right, Aquarius, I can see myself with you in the future. And Pisces, I think the world of you. All right. But I feel like I can't give you what you need. 
right, guys, I love you, and I will see you soon. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Take care.